Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor from Royal Suitcase and welcome to our channel. If it's the first time you are here, please subscribe to our channel and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you like. Today's story is about a very ugly wardrobe and about someone that really needed a wardrobe and all the problems we incurred and how we fixed it and hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Um, give us some comments and let us know how you find it. Thanks, goodbye, bye. Yes, I've got an old wardrobe. It's not looking too good, but I can paint it quickly. So we will paint this quickly. Famous last words. This wardrobe was in a very poor shape. It had a top corner missing, veneered presswood that had water damage. So it was really in a terrible condition. But someone needed a wardrobe and we were willing to help. We used our furniture decor paint Mystic Moon, which is our white, to give a coat to this wardrobe. As expected, it did bleed. So afterwards, we gave it a coat of our silky matte varnish, and that sealed the bleed completely. Because the top veneer trim was missing, and the left corner was broken away, we decided to form trims out of air dry clay using a mold. Here we are applying those clay trims to the top using no more nails. We added our Neptune's dust to our paint to give a texture effect on the wardrobe. The colors we used here are Little Missy, a lovely subtle pink, and Kalahari Sand, which is a dark beige. Neptune's dust is a powder paint additive. You can add to your paint to give it a texture effect. It does not dilute your paint color and can be applied as is or used as an undercoat color should you want to create a beautiful distressed look. Because of the side panels having so much water damage, we decided to do some stenciling and we used our raised stenciling for this. The stencil we applied was the Damask 2022 in a 1.2 meter by 50 centimeters and it's also a repeatable pattern. Always remember to go over your raised stenciling once it's dry with a medium grit sandpaper. That just removes any excess pieces or hard edges and it gives you a nice smooth finish. to add some aging to our raised stenciling. Yeah, I am applying our vintage glaze and brown. I wipe it back with a damp rag, creating an aged look over the raised stenciling and the background color. The 
Yes, I know. At this point, it was looking just plain dirty. Keep on trusting the process. I promise you, it's going to be beautiful. Time to lighten everything up. We let our glaze sit overnight. The next day, we lighten everything up by applying two coats of our white vintage glaze. It's keeping us Once the white glaze was dried, we actually sanded back some of that dry stenciling showing a bit more of the white paste coming through. added the Neptune's dust texture that we used on the side panels to the front of the doors as well and then used the brown vintage glaze just to outline the edges of the door. We specifically added our decor pages to the piece just before we did the white glazing. That was done so that we can glaze over the papers and make those flowers nice and soft looking as well. We blended in the edges of the paper with Gertie's heart, which is a darker shade of pink. You can see here the dramatic color change from brown to soft pink. We added some brown glaze on the embellishments on the front doors as well. Finally time to bling this wardrobe up. We used our metallic lights, which is our metallic paints in Josie Gold. The stencil we are applying is our Skew Script stencil in 1.3 meters by 90 centimeters. The doors of the wardrobe were getting a very special kind of bling, the glass bead gel. This is an awesome product, creating beautiful glass reflections on your projects. It applies easily with a spatula or old credit card, just like you would with raised stenciling. You apply your glass bead gel on your project after it's been sealed, because the glass bead gel has its own sealant in. Glass bead gel goes on milky white and takes about three hours to dry depending on the weather and the humidity. Once it is dry, it is transparent like glass. When light reflects on it, it creates beautiful shimmer. Please remember to wash your stencil immediately after use by washing it with some soapy water. You remember that trim we did at the top of the wardrobe? Well, it's time we give it some glitz. We applied a thin layer of Gilda Space after our project was sealed. The color we're using here is German Silver, a beautiful soft champagne gold. So let's do the numbers. We bought the wardrobe for 500 Rand. The cleaning, the prepping, the clay and the glue cost us about 250 Rand, the molds we already had. Then the paint, the sealer, the metallics, the paste and the glaze worked out to about 670 Rand. 
Ray stenciling, the glass bead gel, the Neptune stars came to about 190 Rand and then we used 2 decor pages 90 by 60 centimeters for the doors and 2 A3 decor papers for the drawers which cost us therefore 300 Rand so the total cost for this project was 1910 Rand. So the total size of this wardrobe was 1.6 meter high by 1.2 meter in width and 50 centimeters in depth. Our total cost was 1910 Rand and under normal circumstances we would have had to add labor and profit between 25 to 35 percent of the total cost which would have been in the region between 477 to 668 Rand and that would have been added to the cost but this piece was not uh, made to be sold it was made for someone that was in need for a wardrobe time for the reveal do you remember what this wardrobe looked like broken corners water damage veneer missing well this is how she looks like now Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope to see you soon. Stay safe. Okay, bye.